Hi, I'm Phyllis from SouthernFrugal.com. First thing this morning, I wanted to uh, thank y'all for all the comments to do with the video yesterday about the bathroom. Y'all had some great comments uh, and suggestions, and uh, one of them uh, was to remove the rug that we've got in that bathroom, that dark brown rug, because it chops up the room. And I agree. I thought that's exactly right. I would have never thought of that, but the uh, uh, because it's such a dark color, it does chop up the room. So I'm going to take the rug up, and um, a lot of you suggested putting the towels in a basket. Of course, the towels are really big, but I do have a basket that would work, and uh, then several suggested putting the plant that's on the back of the bathtub in the middle, and I'm going to try all of those things, but for sure I'm taking the rug up and I'm just going to put it in that little uh, cabinet that's in there for storage. And um, also to move the candles over um, to the back of the bathtub and maybe put the basket of towels up on that little uh, cabinet. Good idea again. So anyway, I'm going to try all those things, but the best advice really was the lady who wrote in and said, leave the bathroom the way it is and move on to the next project. Great idea. So, in other words, just forget about it for a while and move on to the next thing. So that's exactly what I did. I started working on the yellow bedroom and I got the uh, windows washed. Now we've got storm windows because we've still got the original windows that were in this house from the beginning. So they're over a hundred years old. They have been re-puttied, the windows have, but they're the wavy glass. So anyway, um, that bedroom has, we've got the wraparound porch, so that bedroom outside is the, not wraparound, uh, the roof. We, I had to go out on the roof. It's early. Okay, I had to go out on the roof to get the windows washed, uh, the roof that's over the wraparound porch. But anyway, I got them all clean. I was very happy with that. And um, I did, I have ordered curtains for the two bedrooms that are upstairs. We've already got the long curtains in the master bedroom, but I ordered them for the other two rooms. They've never had long curtains before. And I think they're gonna look really good. And one set of the curtains has already come. I don't have the curtain rods, nor the, uh, the uh, curtains for the other, the tan bedroom yet but they should get here today or tomorrow. But anyway, so I just wanted to really thank y'all for the ideas. I think the rug idea, I'm definitely gonna take that rug up. And also to move on to another project. And, and I think what the lady was saying was move on and then maybe you, when you come back to it, you'll know more what to do. But I do have a basket I can put those towels in and they are really big towels. I don't know why I got towels that big, but I did. But anyway, they're really big. So anyway, we're gonna do that. But anyway, we're gonna have a smoothie this morning, again, of course. And uh, what I did, I don't know how long ago it was, but I had a smoothie that tastes just like chocolate, just exactly like chocolate. You would have thought for the world you were drinking a chocolate milkshake. But I don't think I put any greens in that one. So this morning I'm going to try that and include the greens and see if it works. Now I'm not going to use the carrot and the celery, but I am going to use uh, half a sweet. I'll show y'all. Yeah, thank y'all so much for helping me. I really appreciated it. All right, so we're going to use half of a regular sweet potato. I'm using three cubes of cream of wheat and oatmeal, which won't impart really any taste to the smoothie but they'll give us some uh, fiber and staying power. I'm also going to use four cubes of almond pulp. Now, the, uh, as I recall, when I made this before, I used uh, almond milk. So that's going to, this is going to work as almond milk. Red grapes, and these are the seedless grapes. And peanut butter. And those combinations are what taste like chocolate. I don't know why, but they do. And I'm going to use just one little handful of baby uh, spinach, and I'm going to use a mandarin orange. 
So, and the other thing I wanted to mention, one of the ladies wrote in and said that um, she strained her smoothie after making using it, uh, making a smoothie with berries, and because of the seeds. Now, you might need to change your beaker and get your blades might not be as sharp. I'm not sure why, but she has a Vitamix. But this one, in a minute, it will grind up every seed you could imagine. It really will. And I have never, ever had a, a seed get in my mouth from a smoothie where I put any kind of berries in. I'm not sure why, other than I do run it on high for about a minute when I've got seeds, like blackberry. We just started using the blackberry, and we've been using the raspberry for a while, but even blueberries have those little T90 seeds in them. They're, they're right at the top of the blueberry, and uh, it grinds those up too. And strawberries, it grinds the seeds up. Do you know how little those strawberry seeds are? So I would think that the best thing to do if your, your Vitamix isn't grinding up seeds, just get you a new beaker which is going to have sharper blades on it might be the answer. I don't know. It just might be. Anyway, so we're ready to go ahead and I want to talk to you all about the car too in a minute. So let's go ahead and fix this smoothie. And I just put the whole uh, mandarin orange in and that sort of hides the taste of the greens even though I don't think the baby spinach greens come through the taste of them in a smoothie at all. The color is green, but the taste doesn't really come through, I don't think. All right, hold on, I gotta get my little compost thing. Yeah, I use one of these every morning and during the day if I peel anything to put the uh, peelings in for the compost bin. Take that little center thing out. All right, so we've got one mandarin orange in and half of a sweet potato that was previously baked and then frozen, and this would have been from last fall. Now, on the sweet potatoes, they turn out much prettier if you boil them, but when you boil them, a lot of the potassium comes out in the water. So the, the healthiest way to fix sweet potatoes is to bake them so you retain all your minerals. All right, I'm going to put the cream of wheat and oatmeal in. I'm going to go ahead and put in the uh, almond butter now. That's partially thawed out. Yeah, I'm real anxious to see if this is going to taste like chocolate, um, you, we're putting the greens in, because I don't remember if I put the greens in it before. All right, I'm going to dump all the grapes in. One escaped. And I'm going to use some peanut butter. And I do put my spoon in water before I dip it out. That's a little over a tablespoon. All right, so we're ready to grind this up. I'm going to put in... Let's just start out with a cup and a half of water this morning. All right, we're going to grind this up, and we'll be right back. Okay, we we'll ground this all up now, and we're going to drink it regardless of what it tastes like. So I don't think I'm going to have any overage this morning. I've got right at... 50 ounces, so that would be 25 ounces for each one of us. Yep, that works out great. All right, ready to give it a taste. Not, didn't add any sugar, nothing like, no dates even. It doesn't taste like chocolate, y'all. I'm going to have to look back on that video I did and see what I put in it. One of the things I know I used back then was those large uh, red grapes that have the seeds in them. And these were seedless. So anyway, it's okay though. Mm. It's good, but it doesn't taste like chocolate, y'all. 
Okay, so let's move on here. I wanted to talk to you about the car. We're going to use this in the places that were suggested. It's a silicone gasket maker and sealant. And it's the automotive kind, so uh, I guess it can withstand heat and whatever. I don't know. But anyway, Mr. Bucky thought that... Let me move y'all back a little bit. There. Uh, Mr. Bucky thought that two brains would be better than one. And I'm the only other brain around, so he's using me. But anyway, he had looked up all on the Internet. Um, oh, it's been probably three weeks ago now about fixing the leak in the town car. I'm pushing this thing back. And uh, so there was a video and he looked at it and had me look at it. And so we ended up doing what that video said, which was to seal the place where the hood, uh, hood hatch lever comes through the body of the, that metal part of the front of the car. And so we did that and we don't know if we fixed it or not. We don't because he's been covering it up with the tarp and we have had the uh, carpet and the that other backing cropped up so it, everything would dry out because we don't want mildew in there. But anyway, just to be sure, because we don't want the carpet and all to get wet again after we've spent so much time getting it dry. And the other thing is there is a center drain and it's where the passenger wiper is, sort of in the middle of where the windshield is, and uh, or where the where the windshield wiper pivots, and uh, you have to take off that plastic cowl that's under there, and you have to take off the windshield wiper too. And uh, anyway, he wants both of us looking to see what we can see, and. Uh, so that's what we're going to do this morning. Now, yesterday we had uh, actually in the house the temperature was 75 degrees and low humidity. So Mr. Bucky had opened up the windows of the car just to make sure everything was 100% dry in there. So where it's been leaking is the driver's side. Now, in years past, it leaked on the passenger side. And so we got that fixed also by looking at a video. And I also might add that we have taken it to the shop twice and they can't find the leak. So we've got nothing to lose at this point by trying it ourselves. And I think we're probably gonna, gonna come up with the solution and put the uh, silicone caulk sealant in there. And we're, we're to put it uh, around the uh, uh, several openings that are there where, where wires come through the body of the, the metal part of the car there in the floorboard where the gas pedal and the brake are and take care of it that way. Now we've already checked out the windshield because we did have to have the windshield replaced several years ago because it got broke with a rock on the highway and uh, when I took it to the windshield wiper, I mean the uh, glass replacement place, uh, they checked it out and they said, no, the, the windshield is completely sealed. So we know it's not that. So anyway, I'm going to go out there with him this morning and be the second brain of the group. And we'll see what we can do. And hopefully it'll work. So anyway, it, I want to just thank you all again for all the suggestions on the bathroom. I mean, I wouldn't have thought of those things myself. I'm not, uh, I like decorating with color, but when it comes to, to everything being just right, uh, you know, I've looked at hundreds of staging videos and I still don't have it down pat, but I'm working on it. And it's a lot of fun doing all this, y'all. It really is accessorizing a room. And uh, so anyway, I'm, I'm anxious for my drapes to get here. I've already got the one set. I don't have the rods yet. I did order the same kind of drapes, different color as what's in the living room and the foyer just because I loved them. They, they're a, a stripe, a horizontal stripe. That's very, you can't see it unless you get right up on it. It's sort of muted, 
But anyway, I really like them, so we're going to use those. And uh, I'm going to continue washing windows. This house has 29 windows. And I need to wash them on the inside and the outside. And most of the upstairs windows I can get to, to do with the, the roof of the uh, wraparound porch. But on the west side, there are two sets of double windows that I can't get to that way. So what I have to do is take a mop and kind of sit in one window and reach, the, reach around and clean one window and then go sit in the other window and reach around the other way and clean that one. That's just on the top part of the window. Now the, the uh, storm windows come out, so they're easy enough to wash. So the only problem is the outside actual window. And again, these windows are the wavy glass, so we sure wouldn't want to replace that for sure. But anyway, because that sort of adds to the historical part of the house, right? All right, I'm on and on talking. So again, just thank y'all for all your suggestions. Uh, it just shows you that many brains can come up with a solution, right? I wish y'all were here to help us with the car. You, somebody could probably just look in there and say, oh, there's where the leak is. Put a little of this sealant around that now, that'll fix it. I would love it if that would happen. But anyway, even the mechanics couldn't figure it out. So we'll see what we can do. All right, we will see y'all next time. Bye.